Okay, Quran is in 100 integrals number 26. So here comes the question. Uh, we need to integrate dx over x squared times by 1 plus x squared. Um, how do we do this question here? So if you just pay attention to the 1 plus x squared, have you noticed this is something to do with Pythagorean identity? So make sh maybe we can um, use trig substitution to do this question. So I'm thinking about 1 plus tangent square um, theta is equal to um, sector square theta. That's what I'm thinking about. So we can probably use the trig substitution to help us to simplify this integrand and we should be able to integrate it this way. Okay, so we're going to let x equals to tangent theta. All right, so we'll get dx is equal to sector square theta d theta. All right, so therefore now we can replace that um, dx by this entire thing, sector square theta d theta. All right, the next step you do is you also need to replace the x squared. So the x squared is pretty easy to deal with. We just need to um, square that side. So we'll get an x squared is equal to tangent square theta. So we've got everything we need. So we've got this one. Uh, we have the original um, x equal to 10x, 10 theta. So we can now substitute everything inside. We're going to get sec square theta d theta over um, x squared. Remember, x squared is just here. Tangent square theta multiplied by 1 plus x squared. Now, 1 plus x squared is 1 plus um, tangent square theta. Okay, now we can use the Pythagorean identity. And for this part here, 1 plus tangent square is equal to sector square theta. So we can change that into sector square theta, d theta here. All right, so once you finish this, now it's really easy to um, integrate. We can cancel the like terms. You've got the, or cancel the two terms there, they're the same. So we've got a sector square theta and sector square theta on both the top and the bottom. So that can end up with one over tangent square theta d theta. All right, and a one over tangent square theta is equal to cotangent square theta d theta. All right, so now the question is, how do we um, how do we integrate cotangent square theta? All right, so again, we need to use the formula. We know that 1 plus cotangent square theta is equal to cosect square theta. So we need to change the cotangent square theta into cosect square theta uh, because we can integrate cosect square theta. So that gives us cosect square theta minus 1 d theta. All right, so all right. The, when we integrate cosec to square theta, we know the answer is you've got negative cotangent theta. So that's really easy now. So negative cotangent theta minus theta plus c is the answer. Uh, but please um, pay attention to the original question. The original question is in terms of x. However, our answer is in terms of theta here, so make sure you change. do change this one back. So we know x is equal to tangent theta. This is my original substitution. Okay, so we're going to replace this one back. So we can create a right angle triangle if you want. Um, we can call this as the theta here, and then according to this, tan theta equal to x, we know that opposite equal to x, adjacent equal to 1. So therefore, negative cotangent theta, based on this triangle, it is going to be adjacent over the opposite. So that gives you 1 over x, and it's minus 1 over x, minus theta. Now theta is just the inverse of the tangent, so inverse tangent x plus c. Okay, so that's the answer for this question here. Okay, so this question, um, the idea behind this question is you need to realize that that's 1 plus x squared and that's x squared here. They're very similar and 1 and plus x squared can be used to sort of thinking about this as a trig substitution. So we can either use 1 plus cotangent squared theta or we can use 1 plus tangent squared theta. But again, uh, it will be easier if we're just using um, tangent and sector squared. Okay, um, that's all. Thanks for watching.